requires hard work but also knowing the technicalities of it. So in this video, we will be learning how to make the maxillary rim, how to get the proper shape, proper dimension and of course that beautiful shine. So if you want to know how to get the perfect rim every time you make it, keep on watching. Everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. We will start by taking a wax sheet and I am going to cut it from between. Add or remove the excess later if you want to. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flame it up. As you can see in the reflection, I did not have anybody to actually tilt and show you. I'm going to fold the wax sheet throughout. But make sure that after each folding, you have to heat it up properly so that air does not get trapped inside. Otherwise, our rim will look patchy and of course we don't want it. Now once we are done with the folding, we will make a U shape mimicking the arch form and we will keep it on our cast. Align it according to the arch form. And then I am going to push the rim to cover the facial aspect and to cover the area. And I'm doing this while the rim is still warm so that it is moldable. We can adjust the shape of it later, don't worry about that. Now once I'm done filling the facial aspect, I'm going to give a little bit of shape to our rim. Once we are done with that, I will take a wax knife and cut the rim from the posterior aspect. Remember that the posterior extent of our rim should be till the start of the maxillary tuberosity. So now we have got that. If you have no idea about the lines we need to draw on the cast before we begin the procedure, I will leave a link in the description box below to that video. I have already made a video on that. As you can see, we have started getting the initial shape of our rim. Now I am heating up my wax knife and sealing that extension we had made. And remember to keep a bowl of water so that all the wax goes in the water instead of falling on the table and creating a mess. Basically, I am filling all the gaps that are present between the wax and the flanges. Then I'm going to correct the proclination. We need to have a proclination of around 15 degrees and to give that I'm going to remove the excess wax that is present near the flanges. As you can see, just remove around the flanges. This will give the proclination. Wax could be added or removed if required. The facial incisal edge of the maxillary occlusal rim in the central incisor area should be around 8 mm anterior to the center of the depression that is formed by the incisive papilla. So we can measure it using a vernier caliper. Now I am sealing the palatal aspect of our rim. It's time to measure the height of the occlusal rim. Anteriorly, the height should be 22 mm from the highest point of the labial flange. Here you can see we have around 25 mm height which needs to be reduced. The posterior height of the rim from the highest point of the flange should be around 18 mm. Here we have around 23 mm height. So I have drawn a line throughout so that I can know how much height has to be reduced. Now I'm using a hot hot plate to remove the excess height. Be careful while doing this because adding an extra height if you over reduce it will be really problematic. Now we have got the proper height. I'm adjusting the posterior extent once again. I found some extra thickness in the right premolar region so I'm going to reduce that. 
we can decrease the width of the rim throughout if needed then smoothen up all the areas as you can see we have got the proclination we needed we have also started getting a smooth surface now we have to check the width of the rim all around and make it smooth and shiny there are various techniques that you can do to achieve this here I'm using a thick cloth to smoothen the surface. You can also use a lacron carver and shave off the surface. Now remember that half of our rim should be on the left side of the line and half of the rim should be on the right side of the line. But which line? The line that we had drawn on the center of our arch. Remember? And also the rim should end at the anterior aspect of the maxillary tuberosity. So you can see that I'm checking if our rim is half towards the left and half towards the right of the line. Right? It would be better if you trace that line on the occlusal surface of rim so that you can check if it's correct. Keep the rim on a flat surface and bring your eye at the level of the cast and check if the cast is parallel to the flat surface. This will help us in verifying if the height is uniform throughout. Now checking the width, it's 6mm anteriorly, 8mm in the premolar region and 10mm in the molar region. Now finally, it is the time to make it glossy. Now here also we have different methods. One is to use a chip blower and slightly heat the rim surface. And then immediately using a wet cotton and wiping it off. This will give a very beautiful shine. But few knowledgeable persons say that this can change the properties of the wax. So we can also use an alternative method. That is to take a little bit of liquid soap on a cotton and rubbing off the surface. This will also give an extraordinary shine. But remember you don't have to wet the cotton in this case. You can also use some commercially available products that gives extraordinary shine. But here I am not using that. So this is our final result. I hope you like it. If you have any suggestions for improvement, 